and welcome back everyone to this let's play of Mortal Online, Third Era. This is Fun Gaming Connoisseur, and <laughs> back to uh, doing our exploration of Sadokar. Okay, so we're gonna heading out again. Just gotta watch out for any uh, murderers. I brought everything. <laughs> I was gonna record, but then. But then I decided to pick up all my stuff first, because otherwise this is going to take a long time. <laughs> and I will just pick up this urn. Yeah, a little bit of money, it, uh, it all helps. Okay, so we're going to try and look for Pash. So. Tracing our steps from last time. Uh, I think I think one is enough. <laughs> this is all these uh, urns scattered throughout the desert. Okay, so we just uh, just one more, just one one more stop. So it's locked. And also, one one other thing. Uh, recently, I've been doing a bit of reading on how to use uh, Wi-Fi repeaters. So, past few days, well, actually a few weeks ago, I've been getting some really bad lag when I play games, uh, games like MechWarrior Online, and to some extent, Mortal Online as well. And I was getting really bad lag doesn't matter you know which server I play whether it's Oceania North America or European I was getting really bad lag in every match and so I decided to look up or and so I decided to look up on how to use how to better position the Wi-Fi repeaters because I had it placed right next to my computer and that was some distance away from the router and I thought that it would be effective in improving my latency but instead it did the opposite and so so I decided to do a bit of googling and it turns out that one of the articles that I read and I've got a link in the description below it says that you should put the Wi-Fi router right next to the sorry the Wi-Fi repeater right next to the Wi-Fi router and so that's what I did I moved it to the uh, right next to the router and and then when I try to play the games that I play like Macquarie Online it improved the latency by well it, it was just like night and day it improved improved the latency a lot and I was finally able to play the games you know without any lag and so so you know just a little tip for you guys, a little bit of advice if you use Wi-Fi repeaters in your in your home. Now not not to say that that's the that'll work for every single one for every person that you know has a Wi-Fi repeater is I'm just saying that it's uh, it worked for me. Uh, that's how it worked when I put it right next to the router. So it may not work the same way for you but yeah you might want to give it a try. Alright so I think enough talking we should uh, okay so I think I went down this way last time I think I went down here if I remember correctly yeah I went down here uh, okay gotta be careful not to Actually, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's it's a good drop over there. I don't know why I keep pressing F. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. It's because I've been playing MechWarrior Online just now, and uh, the the F key is for realigning your mech's legs to your torso. So you know when you play different games and they have different 
key mappings, you sort of get a little bit confused temporarily. Just hoping I don't get killed out here. Okay, so I brought a bit more food with me this time because last time when I tried to feed that's our worker. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm kind of feel like killing killing this red side worker. I feel like it. I feel like killing it because um, because their antennas are worth one gold. So you know, if you can kill if you can kill one of those, then it's yeah, it's effectively free money for you. And I'll get my all right. So fireball. so far away. bag this time so so maybe I can put it in, uh, in charcoal yep I can I mean bring that back try and butcher it okay so yeah so rats are workers if you have the right gear and you know how to how to take them on then they're not so hard anymore. Resting still does take a bit of time. Okay, and we'll eat a bit of food as well. Lots of rats are workers. Hmm. So 
interesting, interesting. I wonder what's over there. Really like to check it out. Hope it's not the glass furnace. But uh, yeah, I'll just go and have a look at see what's uh, what's over there. You gotta watch out when you cross cross the sand dunes because you never know, you know, if, if there's a mob waiting for you on the other side. Okay, I think that's a stone lizard. Let's take a peek. Over there. You gotta be careful when you're going downhill. Don't just go straight down. Try and zigzag your way down. So that you don't uh, you know fall straight down and then hurt yourself. You gotta be careful as well. You never know when there's a player killer waiting around. Funny how this, how it looks when it's uh, going uphill. TC t uh, tower. Okay, hopefully, no red side queens popping out of the sand. Get out of here. We're not meant to, we're not meant to be here. So Oh. 
That should, that should do it. That should fix it. I hope. No, it's still doing damage. Alright, let's get out of here. So that helped. Good thing I brought the heavy robe along. Yeah, so you can't rest when you're getting damaged. So you gotta wait for the damage to stop. That's why I say, you know, Sadokar is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> if you come here, you either rep get prepared, uh, prepare, you know, the right gear, or prepare to die. any of my stuff. So I remember last time I went to the... What do you call? Okay, is that a chest? Yeah, it was the uh, cultists hideout. So I'm gonna, supposed to be heading that way. It's really cool that you can just stop at a whim. That's locked. Man, I wonder, wonder where I'm going to get the 5-10% to unlocked chest chance that Henrik was saying in his in the forums. There's another one. Well, nice box. Okay, I wonder what's in this box. You know, I like picking up stuff. So, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, I don't need that. 
<laughs> more steel bars. That'll be useful. So that reminds me, I'm going to be trying to work on how to make steel at a later time. But uh, yeah, once I once I figure out how to do it and I master it, then I will try to you know do a video on that. I've already done a video on how to make cuprum, so oh, that's our worker. Yeah, <laughs> I better not talk too much while I'm doing stuff. You know, I tend to get sidetracked. So yeah, just bear with me guys if I don't say anything. It's because I'm trying to concentrate. Okay. So I really like this Akaitor that Alaris gave me. It really does make exploration that much easier. Oh, that's over there. Okay, that's the <laughs> glass furnace. I wonder if that, that is the glass furnace. I think it is, but I'm not too sure. And these are probably stone lizards, by the looks of it. Stone lizards, yep. Okay, I don't want to go near them. What is that? Okay, this better not be a Ratsar Queen. <laughs> yeah. Kind of makes you very parano paranoid nowadays. You know, if, if you come across a rat Ratsar Queen, the next time you see something sticking out of the sand, it, it just makes you think twice about approaching it. Alright, so I think I'll split this up into multiple episodes because I don't know how long this is going to take. So thank you for watching and as always, if you could please like, comment, subscribe and share. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Take care.